This is another lesson for PACE 1100, looking at pages 14 and 15, one of my favorite topics in algebra, multiplying binomials. So binomial is just a fancy math term that means we have two terms in the same parentheses. So this is a binomial, here is another binomial, and the fact that these two parentheses are side by side means we are multiplying them. So the paste does not refer to the FOIL method, but I always like to talk about the FOIL method and teach that because it kind of helps uh, tie it into our brain if we have an acrostic like FOIL. So the F tells us that we're going to multiply together the first terms, okay? Then the O stands for the outer terms. I is the two inner terms, and then the L in FOIL stands for the last term. So let's do this together and see what we get. The first term is 6x and x. So if I multiply just the 6x times x, I get 6x squared. Now I'm going to do the outer, so 6x and negative 4. Okay, so the, keep this negative with the 4 and that would give me negative 24x. Now the inner negative five, or excuse me, positive five times x, so positive five x, and then the last term is we take the positive five times the negative four, and we get negative 20. We're almost done, but we're not quite done. These are like terms, do you see that? So this has x squared, but this is just an x term and an x term. So they are like terms, and we can actually combine them. And so negative 24 plus 5 would give me negative 19x. Tack on the minus 20 and the 6x squared, and now we have the complete answer. All right, let's try another one. This one, uh, let's do the FOIL method again. So first, outer, inner, last. So x times 3x, 3x squared. Let's do the outer. x times negative 4, negative 4x. Then the inner, negative 8 times 3x, negative 24x. And now, negative 8 times negative 4, remember a negative times a negative, since they're both negative, will make it positive 32. All right? I'm not going to finish that one for you. It's easy to see that you're going to combine these. They have like terms. Add and keep the common sign. <clears throat> Let's sort of appear we have some double variables up here. These all had numbers for the last term, and those are sometimes easier. But let's think about this. 3a times 2a. So 3 times 2 is 6. a times a, a squared. So we did the first. Now let's do the outer. So we get negative 3. I always like to do them in alphabetical order. a, b. And technically, b, a is the same thing. And then here in the middle, we're going to do b times 2a. So positive 2. And again, I like to do a, b. And then positive times negative means the answer will be negative. And b times b gives you b squared. And notice, and this will happen every time you do this, okay, that these middle two terms should be like terms. So negative 3ab plus positive 2ab, you can combine them, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger, right? And have three terms in your final answer. I'll let you finish that one, okay? I want you to know something special with this one, though. And when we have the same letter in the front, we have the same number at the back, and it's just the sign is different, look, look what happens. First, a squared, outer, negative 2a, the middle term is positive 2a, the last term is negative 4, okay? But what happens when you add these two together? They cancel out, and we end up with just a squared minus 4. Isn't that cool? So we call this the difference. Remember, difference is the answer to subtraction. The difference of perfect squares, because a squared is a to the second power. a squared. It's a perfect square, so is 4. It's 2 squared. Now, that's going to be really important in a future lesson when we are presented with this first, and we have to recognize that to work backwards and find this, all right? We're going to be doing that soon.
But we need to get comfortable at first doing this FOIL method before we can in the future lesson undo it and come back up with these binomials. All right, so this is the difference of perfect squares. Now this can work too with even complicated expressions like double variables here. What's 3a times 3a? 9a squared, let's do the outer, negative 3abc. What happens here in the middle? We have positive bc times 3a, so positive 3. Again, I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. We don't have to, but I like that. Positive times negative is negative, and then I have bc times bc, which is b squared c squared. Are you with me? And then these are going to cancel out. So when the terms are exactly the same except that one's positive and one's negative, and it doesn't matter which one, it could be the negative first, the positive second, it doesn't matter. The middle term is always going to cancel out, and you'll just end up with the first term minus, it's always going to be minus because you have a positive times a negative, so minus the second term squared. All right, so I think those are kind of fun. And hopefully that will go quick for you in doing um, <clears throat> pages 14, 15. I think I even introduced page 16. This is from page 16, the early part of 17. All right, we'll stop there. Maybe do one more video before I head home for supper.